Welcome back to another video guys. We're going to show you how we changed this wall to a herringbone feature wall. We start by ripping down our MDF boards to the size plank that we want. We didn't have a table saw at this point so we're just using our circular saw. We've clamped one board as a guide and made sure that the measurement on the circular saw wasn't gonna cut too deep, but just deep enough to make all of these planks. We then took our router and beveled every single edge so that it would create more dimension in each plank. Do not skip this step because it makes a huge difference. We then found the center of our wall so that we knew that we were creating the pattern in the right spot. We're using our Ryobi miter saw to make 45 degree cuts for each plank. To start, you're going to want to take your first piece and find the center of the side of the triangle to start. This will ensure that your herringbone pattern is actually centered on the wall. So instead of the top of the triangle with the middle of the wall, you're going to take the middle of the side of the triangle. If you can see closely, he's marked it with a pencil so he knows exactly which point to align with the center of the wall. Continuing with the pattern, Seth makes his mark for his next piece, makes a 45 degree angle cut, adds some of this Loctite glue, and sets it in place. We actually purchased a wire kit to make sure that all of our wires for our TV go through the wall and into our media kit. So Seth is making a custom cut to go around this box to hide all of our wires. As always guys, I have all of the materials and tools linked down below in the description box that you can reference to do this project too. As you make your way to the top of the ceiling, you'll have to be making custom cuts all the way through, which slows down the process. This took us several weeks to do um, as we were working on it on weekends and watching a toddler at the same time. So just be patient with yourself, take your time, and believe me, the after is totally worth it. Now it's time for paint and we are using this Valspar paint in an eggshell and the color we chose is called Ballroom Dancing. <laughs> we wanted a sagey green color and this ended up being perfect because I actually met my husband ballroom dancing and we ballroom danced for years. So this color means a lot more than just liking the color, which is pretty cool.
While I was painting, Seth was actually taking caulk and finishing out the outer seams just for a more finished look. And you can see him pulling off the tape to create a nice, crisp, and clean line. We also did a fireplace makeover, and you can find that on my Instagram. So make sure you go over to Instagram and make sure you're following me because I have that project saved to a highlight. Something that I wish I would have done at first was actually go through all the seams with a brush first and then roll afterwards. So do what I say, not what I do, and make sure you go in with a trim brush through all of the lines and the edges and then go over it with your roller brush. This will hide all of the brush strokes and give your finish a nice clean look. And if you notice our ceiling is shiplapped, we actually shiplapped our ceiling in the last video. So make sure you go check out how we transformed our popcorn ceiling to a shiplap ceiling. Next, we took our custom made media center with just three little pockets around the wires. And you can see we have a little helper helping us secure it onto the wall. Next, we're gonna actually be using this plastic wood to fill in any holes around the trim that we added. I couldn't find the footage for this, but just know that we picked up some trim from the hardware store, added it to the top and to the bottom for baseboard, and then we fill in all of the nail holes with plastic wood. Then we tape off the trim, add some caulk for a nice finished look, and Seth here is just using like an old card to smooth it out, but you can use your finger or a baby wipe that will also do the trick. After caulking and filling all the nail holes in, we're gonna go ahead and paint these baseboards as a final step, so you'll see me just using some tape to protect our floors from paint. All right, and I know I'm gonna get questions on what paint I used for the trim. And so we use this Bare Premium Paint Primer in one, and that's what we've used throughout our whole house. Now a quick tip is to remove the tape while the paint is actually wet. You'll get a cleaner line and you won't be pulling paint off of the trim that you just painted. And we're ready for the final reveal. We are so happy with how this wall turned out. It certainly makes a modern statement in our room and we would love to see it if you guys decide to try this project too. You can find me on Instagram at my first dot last name and make sure you tag us in your project. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Make sure to like and leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed for our next project. Just I'm one of those things